What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your seventh Java Advanced tutorial. Um, so today we're going to be working a little bit more on ArrayList like we did in the first tutorial. I'm just going to be teaching you guys a few little methods that you um, might find handy when using the ArrayList class. So first off, let's make an ArrayList again and let's add some elements to it. So to do this, we're going to make an ArrayList object. It's called ArrayList A. Or let's Give it something descriptive like, um, I don't know, grades. And let's set it to equal to new array list. Now, in Java, we're really supposed to, when we create an array list and we know what type of data we're going to be putting in this array list, we have to do something kind of weird. We have to use these angle brackets, or the greater than and less than sign. And then inside these angle brackets, we actually put the type of data that we're going to be using. And this type, since we're using grades, is going to be an integer value. And as you can see, I didn't actually type in, oops, int. I actually type in capital int integer, so integer. And over here, right here, we're going to want to put integer, whoop, right there. That's where we put it. And basically, this just says, okay, we're going to have an array list. We're going to call it grades. And basically, they're going to be of type integer. And um, I'll go into more detail about this later on. I'm actually going to have a whole tutorial on what these angle brackets mean and what they actually do. Um, I don't want to get into it because it'll just confuse you guys. But I should, I'll should i clear that up later in a later tutorial. And you guys will understand, oh, I get why he used integer in here. And uh, yeah. So basically, if you know what type of data you're putting into your array list, it's just good programming practice to put integer in, or if we were using a string, we would put string. And so yeah, now that we have our array list instantiated, we're going to just add a few, I guess, grades into our grade array list. So let's go grades dot add. I don't know. Let's go 52, say he just passed. Didn't do very well, but whatever. He passed. Um, grades add. In programming, he got 100% because he was watching Anthony's tutorials and well, he knew everything. And grades add. Say he has four courses. I don't know. 73. And grades add. An 81. So as you can see, we have four grades that are stored in our grade array list. So this is all what we did yesterday and we just printed it out. Today I'm going to be showing you some methods that you could use that help you with um, using array lists. So basically the first one is that I want to show you guys is called the clear command. Now the clear command basically it's kind of self-explanatory actually all you do is grades.clear and this will clear all of the elements from the list so this is kinda handy when at the end of your program or something if you want to get rid of everything to free up memory you just go grades.clear so I'm going to show you guys that this actually does clear it I'm not just pulling your leg system.out.print well in ugh can't type so as I showed you guys in the last tutorial you can just type in grades and it'll print out the whole um, array list. And I'll print it out after the clear statement. Uh, let's run this thing. As you can see, the first one it prints out 52, 100, 73, 81, as we would expect. And then we used, ooh, let's pull this thing down. Then we used our grades.clear command and it cleared all of the elements out of the array list and we printed out a blank array list. So I'm going to show you guys yeah, one more little method that you could use with ArrayList. It's also pretty easy and it's very useful that you're going to, you're going to be using it a lot when you use ArrayList. Um, and it's called the grades.getIndex. So basically this just allows you to grab a specific index. And what I mean by index, the first uh, index here would be the zeroth index, just like in arrays. So this one here would be the zeroth, the first, second, and third. So if we want to print that out, 
let's go grade dot get let's just get our computer science mark here um, so that'd be the first index and if we run this puppy we should get a hundred there we go and if we want to get the last one this would be the zero one two third index so we would go get three run file and as you can see we get 81 so that's it for this tutorial I don't want to make it too long for you guys because I know a lot of people don't like saying through like seven minute tutorials so I'm gonna shorten this up and I think I'll have one more tutorial on ArrayList just to cover a few more methods and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please remember to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial